Hey VC, Steve here, um, making redoing my 1991 extreme metal collection, predominantly death metal. A couple of thrash metal albums in there. Um, I shot this video before, so a lot of you've seen that one. Taking it down and uh, redoing it to go with this series year by year, basically. Done in 93, done in 92, and now I'm on 91. I think next I'll combine 89 and 90 together and call it good. Um, listening to a uh, sorcery, Blood Chilling Tales in the background. It was released in 1991. I don't have a physical copy, though I do have this cassette from way back when from the tape trading days. This one has, of course, sorceries, uh, Blood Chilling Tales, and side B, and side A has Cemetery and Evil Shade of Grey, which I believe was 92. But anyway, I'm gonna carry on with this redo. Um, hopefully you guys did. <clears throat> First off, Effigy, Effigy of the Forgotten. Suffocation, 1991, killer album from New York. I'm just going to show this. Might as well show the variants on a lot of these. Turn this around a little bit. There we go. This one's a listenable record, so blue. And it sounds phenomenal. So, dig it. I'm gonna do the same thing I was doing before and the other ones and vinyl CD vinyl so this is a Jumpin' Jesus released in that year of 91. Jumpin' Jesus is from Germany. This is uh, the art of crucifying. Absolutely kick-ass death metal. Uh, brutal as fuck. Love it. Up in Jesus. My favorite, one of my favorites from Finland. Uh, sentenced Shadows of Past. Probably, I like this in the demo. And uh, that's pretty much all I like by Sentence. <laughs> killer of, uh, killer of freaking Finnish death metal. And here's the variant, kind of a Marble, marble white. Hands down, stellar. If I keep this going, another finished release. This is, I think, Eczema or Zizma. Uh, the album, yeah, finished death metal. Got kind of death and roll. Although this does have the demos, it has. Uh, Above the more mind of mortality and uh, Fata Morgana, which is more gore grind, grind, gore grind, <laughs> gore grind, kind of in the vein of early carcass. But uh, yeah, real deep guttural vocals on this. Fun one to listen to. Blimps released this in 91, Testimony of the Ancients, which I think this is what their new singer or another singer, uh, Martin, Martin Van Drunen's not in this one. This sent, vocalist sounds more like death. This one's just on black, so there's no point in really showing it. But I will. Double LP, the second LP is the 1990 Dynamo Live. I love this album. I think this is the first Pestilence album I heard, actually. And then I heard Consumer and Impulse after this one. Killer stuff. Oh. Swedish Gym, Therion with Of Darkness. Um, 
these guys kind of sound, I guess, a little bit like Celt a Celtic Frost. That's where they get their name. Uh, Celtic Frost to Megatherion. That's where they got that portion. Absolute classic Swedish death metal album. I need this on vinyl. And one day I will. Nice freaking little booklet of that. <clears throat> Good stuff. Show this one just to get out of the way. One of the thrash metals. Really, I didn't want to throw a lot of thrash metal on this, but I really love this album. Overkill's Horoscope, released in 91. Fantastic thrash metal from the East Coast. So, not much more to say, but how badass this motherfucker is. Swedish Death Metal Unleashed released this in the great year of 1991. Um, what's the name of this? Fuck. Drew a blank. Or no life girl dwells. Son of a bitch. Another one I need on vinyl and I can't find anywhere for a reasonable price. But CD will do. Angel released this one, 1991, uh, Blessed Are the Sick, very first death metal album I ever heard, that's the gatefold, I wanted to show the cassette because I have the original cassette, uh, but I got this reissue and it's a bigger picture, so fuck it, uh, okay, Kind of going through these quickly because there's quite a few. I think I counted 35 total. Uh, Messiah, Fire of Horrors, Switzerland, uh, Death Rash. Oh man, I love this album. It's all black. But phenomenal stuff. Killer. Switzerland, Messiah from Switzerland. Another one, of course, we all know this come out in 91, and it's uh, some more Death Rash. Brazil, Sepulchre is a rise. Uh, man, really, to be honest with you, the very first two death metal albums probably I ever heard would have been uh, Cannibal Corpse, Eating Back to Life, and this one, and then Morbid Angel. Um, I couldn't stand Cannibal Corpse when I first heard it, and um, it is what it is. This one, I kind of liked it a little bit better because it's more thrashy, but uh, phenomenal album, of course you all know. Another one from 91, Massacre from Beyond, I uh, absolutely love this album. I hear a lot of people not really care about it, but like I love this album. Uh, Dawn of Eternity, my favorite track on it. Corpse Grinder, man, that's good stuff. Massacre from Beyond. Another CD, Ripping Corpse, Florida. I can't remember where they're from, honestly. Uh, another Death Rash uh, outfit with uh, Eric in it. They absolutely killer, killer fucking album. This is a must have. If you don't have it, get it. Um, I saw this on vinyl the other day at a record shop, but they wanted a hundred bucks for it. Like, fuck no. I'm not paying a hundred bucks for something I already have on CD. I don't have to have it on vinyl for a hundred bucks. No way in hell. The second death metal album I ever heard was Immolation's Dawn of Possession, New York. This one's a RC 2011 reissue. And uh, I wore the shit out of the tape. And then uh, my wife, for my birthday one day, 
got this. And what can I say about this album? Into Everlasting Fire. Fucking Stone Cold Classic from 1991. Another one, Grave Into the Grave. Switzel, or Switzel, that, Sweden. I love this album. Um, you'll never see a like a little bit more right now, but there's those days when I want to hear a little bit more brutality and less groove, I guess. And this one goes in. This is absolutely phenomenal Swedish death metal. Uh, the one from Canada, we had Gorguts, Considered Dead, Brutal, Death Metal. This is just straight up death metal. Um, later they became more uh, avant-garde or technical, but wow, this one is a freaking must-have, badass motherfucker. Getting through those CDs and it's just gonna be vital. Uh, cancer released, Death Shall Rise in 1991 with uh, James Murphy. Um, I love this album. I like um, To the Glory End a little bit better and Sins of Mankind just a little bit better than this one. But this one's still phenomenal. I love uh, the kick pattern, the kick drum pattern on uh, uh, Hung Drawn and Quartered. Absolutely outstanding. And, uh, they reissued this on vinyl. I've been thinking about getting it. Um, but right now, I'll just play the CD. Go to Germany for uh, another 91 release. Morgoth. First. Uh, that sounds like a, uh, a German version of death. Uh, just phenomenal killer ass shit. This one is on uh, Creation Records. And the vinyl is uh, black. But, uh, man, I need to get this in a anti-static sleeve. But yeah, another one, I'm probably going to listen to this one later. I haven't heard this one in a while. Last CD, then it's all vinyl. Asphyx the Rack, 1991. Doom, heavy ass motherfucker. Martin Van Drennen on vocals. Fucking good to God. I love this album. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, it comes with this little thing. I took it out. Now it's on the inside. Yeah, that's fixed the rack. Now we'll go to all vinyl for the rest of this show. And Tombs Clandestine. Um, I love it. Left Hand Path. And this one just a little bit underneath that album, but still a damn great fucking record. Oh man. Living Dead. Freaking crawl. Man. Freaking phenomenal album. Swedish classic. Going back to. Man, I don't know where these guys are from. They sound New York, maybe Pennsylvania. Not sure. Broken Hope. Swamped and Gore released this beast in 1991. Love that artwork. Killer shit. Just on black. But uh, what else can I say about this motherfucker? Just kills. Turn this up. Don't be loud. This kills. Uh, my favorite song, or pretty much every one of them, but Incinerated, Dismembered Carcass, Gore Hog, Cannibal Grave, Cannibal Crave, I'm sorry. But yeah, Broken Hope. So I might listen to this one later. Another 
one is uh, Revenant Death Rash from New Jersey. Um, love this album. My, that's the one my wife found for me. I'm so stoked when she found this. And, uh, Lovecraftian lyrics and uh, look at that artwork. The simple badassness. My favorite tracks on this are Prophecies of a Dying World, the title track, Ancestral Shadows, In the Dark of the Physic Unknown, Psychic Unknowns, or Fixed Web Fade of Time, Distant Eyes, Absolute Classic, in my mind. Another one that we need to talk about, we all know this one. This member's like an ever flowing stream. This is a back on black reissue, but these are hard to come by. This also has some um, bonus stuff like uh, the Defective Decay Torn Apart, which is a Carnage cover. Justiful Homicide, which later come on, uh, was released on uh, Massive Killing Capacity. But yeah. My favorite, uh, Death Vocation, Death Evocation, um, every track on this is gold, uh, Overture of the, Overture of the, Override, Override to Overture, Puck, my wife, favorite track, love that riff, can't believe I could get that one out, okay, another killer release, Death's human. Don't even need to talk about how badass this motherfucker is. You guys already fucking know. This is actually a relapse reissue. Um, the only way I can find it on vinyl. But freaking sounds great. I got the cassette and CD. But I wanted to show the vinyl because it, the bigger picture is easier to see. Plus, I like showing the vinyl better. Um, another 91 is, I think this one's tight. Bioaggression with Expound and Exhort. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, Obituary, especially a vocalist. You know, Target. Let me get a drink of my coffee. Uh, this found a freaking awesome early death metal but yeah it's kind of like obituary with blast beats and John Tardy vocals and uh, man that every freaking track period in flames limbs of death as you die limb from limb choir of loudening awesome album check it out if you haven't heard it I'll put links Dark Throne, Soulside Journey, their first album. Debut is a death metal album. And my favorite by Dark Throne. I wish they did more of these. I love black metal stuff. But I love um, this album. Pieces, Chrome Lock. But yeah. Good. Let's see if I can get this. I'm just going to have that on. They all hold it like this. That'll be a freaking title for a thumbnail. Dark Throne, Soul Side Journey. Death Rash from Germany. Protector with extra shit enough skin. Uh, good God. Must listen. If you haven't heard this, look at this artwork. I like Golem a little bit better than this one, but I do love this album. I'm having a hard time thinking about listening to this piece on this kind of blue teal. This one's a H High Roller Records reissue. My wife actually found this on Discogs for me. Good, I'm getting close. Rolling to a close. <laughs> yeah, quite a few left, but uh, of course, uh, 
fucking badass band. Man. Carcass. Man, I love this album. I was just admiring the artwork on this son of a bitch. Uh, criticism, the scanting, the salubrious. Love saying that. That's phenomenal. Grind, death. From uh, Britain. This is the inner sleeve. And uh, vinyl's just on black. Remember when I first heard this album? Played it over and over and over again back in '91. I got tools of the trade sometime after that. I listened to the shit out of that. Wish I still had that copy. But uh, of course, I got this one. I have all the stuff by Carcass. Another one, uh, Cannibal Corpse, Butchered at Birth. Everybody knows where they're from, and uh, I love this album. There's too many damn good songs on this one. This one's a cool one to reissue. I have this on CD, but uh, when they reissued the vinyls, I finally got a copy of it. It's on the smoke clear. And it's a hell of an album. Finished Death Metal albums of all time is Finebra or Finebra, Finebra. I don't even know how they call it, but Children of the Scorn. Uh, my favorite song is Walls That Held Screams, Blood on White, Grip of Sanity, Insanity, Waiting on Their Arrival. Yeah, that's fucking sick. Dudes, boy, this is just on black. And one of my favorites to listen to. I love this motherfucker. I need to get the Extreme Series reissue because it has all the bonus, like Brain Spoon and all that stuff, those EPs and demos. But uh, yeah, this is phenomenal. Favorite. Love this motherfucker. Has one. <sighs> Kind of one is Bolt Thrower, War Master. Don't need it. There's nothing more I can tell you about this album. If you ever heard it, slap yourself in a panic frenzy. Killer ass shit. My favorite Bolt Thrower album is uh, The Fourth Crusade, and this one is right after it. And that fucking art fork rules. Another finished gem from Finland is Convulse, World Without God. Man, I just love this motherfucker. This one, this one's cool because not only did you get the album, there's the sleeve. You also got their demo and their demo is just about better than the fucking album itself. Recitation of Evilness. It. Must listen, must have. Anyway, cool. I'm just so happy to get through this video quickly. Hopefully, you guys dig. Good shit. Two more left, and then you guys don't have to listen to me ramble. Autopsy's mental funeral. Favorite autopsy album. It's a piece fill reissue, of course. Just on black, so I'm not gonna pull it out. But look at that artwork. So fucking sick. 91 was a fucking gem. Gem of a year. I'm starting to think I probably ought to shoot the 89, 90 tonight. But last one. Atheist, unquestionable prep. <laughs> unquestionable. Presence. 
fucking badass shit. So, uh, and this one is a, what is this on? Remember, it's blue. Yeah, it's midnight blue. Another badass motherfucker. Technical swag in the League of Humans. Death's human. Phenomenal shit. Anyway, there's my redo. Hopefully I didn't go through it too quickly. If not, let me know in the comments and I'll redo it. <laughs> not really. Yeah. Sorcery rules. If you guys have a copy of that and want to get rid of it, want to trade me something for it, hit me up later.